Here's what we are looking at in our tropical overview. Agatha is right here, and you can see it's very unorganized right now. Still a tropical storm at this point, but there's now a 10% chance of it developing in the Atlantic over the next two days, but a 60% chance over the next five days. First, it has to get through an environment with a lot of wind shear in order to redevelopment, but regardless, yes, we are expecting some rain, some heavy rainfall across the Yucatan Peninsula into Cuba, believe even and then up into southern Florida is another area uh, that we're going to be keeping a very close eye on over the next five days as the system potentially does develop for us here back in the coastal bend. No worries from Agatha. We are looking at cloudy conditions as the sun is starting to make its appearance here this morning, uh, but it's humid out there. We are tracking temperatures in the 80s. Strong southeast flow leading to that higher humidity. Your high today around 91 degrees. Here's the deal with all of that humidity and the onshore flow. We do have a couple of very isolated showers that have developed. A lot of this likely isn't even making it to the ground, but you can see those showers right there kind of along 281 between uh, Alice and or George West at this time. So again, very spotty. Most of us are going to stay dry in terms of rainfall. But our humidity, that is the problem this morning. We have a dew point of 77 right now in Corpus Christi. That is at that instant sweat level, especially as our temperatures heat up. Look at this. We're talking about 73 this afternoon during peak heating, 75 even during the 5 o'clock hour. So yes, it is going to be a humid one, and that's going to bump up our heat index values today. Notice 9 a.m. We are already feeling like it's 91 in Corpus Christi, Robstown, Alice. As we look ahead to this afternoon, 415. We may see a couple of heat index values around 105 to 102, 103, even into the brush country. We're talking a 10 degree difference between your actual temperature and the heat index just due to all of that humidity. There is again a chance of a spotty shower heading into this afternoon or even a thunderstorm. But again, I think mostly we're just going to notice the heat and the humidity. Uh, strong onshore flow does lead to a chance for some minor coastal flooding. But at this time, it looks like it, the levels of, of our uh, coastal Line, the water along the coast should stay below that advisory criteria. Hot and humid conditions as well as those breezy onshore winds are bumping our heat index values potentially to 105, 109, although I think we'll stay between uh, 101 and 105 for the most part this afternoon. It's windy. Here's why. We've got that, that storm system that's causing that severe weather risk flooding through uh, Kansas and into Oklahoma. And then we have a dry line and some heat across Texas. We have high pressure off uh, the east coast and we're in between these two systems increasing that onshore flow and our windy conditions although we'll be as windy as yesterday there's that severe risk across uh, the texas panhandle and into oklahoma today texas uh, across west texas continues to see a risk of severe weather tomorrow a cold front is going to make it south into kind of central texas but not into South Texas. We are only heating things up. We have that chance for a spotty shower during the day today, but again, most of us are dry. We'll see some sun peeking through in the afternoon and more cloud coverage and a slim chance of a shower overnight heading into Wednesday. So yeah, a chance of an ISO storm, isolated storm on Wednesday. Again, most of us stay dry in terms of rainfall. Humidity is still there. By the time we get to Friday, uh, it's just a little breezy. And then Sunday, our temperatures go up, but it's a little less humid. So uh, you can't really win in this forecast. It's hot all the way around, John Thomas. Hey, but at least.